Elon Musk recently announced that Tesla would have 1 million robo-taxis on the road by next year. So should we kiss Uber and Lyft goodbye? All right, so this is pretty incredible news if Tesla were actually able to make this happen. But Elon has a history of overpromising on dates, and this promise will probably be no different. To this date, we have seen some autonomous rides on Uber, but there's always been a safety driver involved. They haven't been completely robo taxis, which with no driver at all. And Musk defined robo taxis as there will be no drive, no safety driver, no driver in the car. The car will drive itself, fully autonomous. All right, so back in 2016, John Zimmer, the president of Lyft, wrote a Medium post titled The Third Transportation Revolution. And in it, he included this graphic on how he sees the autonomous transition happening. And these dates are a little ambitious too, but this is, this is probably how it will play out with, with, say, Lyft and Uber. You can see that the human rideshare drivers are involved throughout this entire timeline. You can also see that there's going to be a hybrid point where there's autonomous vehicles operating at less than 25 miles an hour along with human rideshare drivers. Then you'll have fully autonomous vehicles involved and the rideshare drivers, it will slowly taper off. And also in that post, he talks about how the transition will be slow. Um, in that graphic, you could see that there's that hybrid fleet and those autonomous vehicles will only be able to operate at say 25 miles an hour or less in nearly perfect conditions. Um, they'll be restricted to those zones. And then slowly over time, as the technology gets better, they'll slow, slowly but surely be able to go faster and drive in more inclement weather. And this is probably how it will be for Tesla too. Um, Tesla, when they first announce, when they first have their robo taxis on the road, they'll probably be restricted to say less than 25 miles an hour and in specific areas where, where conditions are perfect. And over time, it will slowly but surely expand. Tesla won't have human drivers involved, obviously. Um, Lyft and Uber still will. Uh, Tesla will, will interchange with Uber and Lyft, so a lot of people will probably use Tesla's robo-taxis for those short rides, for those less than 25 mile an hour rides, but people are also going to need to go long distances, so they'll still use Uber and Lyft for those, for those purposes. And real quick, I'd like to throw it over to Harry um, and get his take and see how he sees the transition happening. Thanks, Joe. So I think the big thing to consider is that autonomous vehicles, even when the technology is ready, they're not going to be ruled out overnight, right? Uh, there might be two to three million rideshare drivers in the U.S. right now, and we're not going to wake up one day and all of a sudden there's three million self-driving cars on the road, right? This technology is going to be super expensive, especially at the start, you know, like with any new technology. Over time, it will come down. Um, so that's one thing to kind of consider, right? It's not going to happen all at once. And then I think the second thing, too, uh, which I've seen some of the actual executives at Uber and Lyft talking about is that autonomous vehicles, you know, when there's no driver, that's going to mean that these rides are a lot cheaper for consumers, but that could actually increase demand, right? If people can now take autonomous vehicles everywhere and it's way cheaper than owning a car, they're going to want to take a lot more. And what that means is that they may increase demand so much that they can't keep up with demand, right? And so what are they gonna do if they don't have enough autonomous vehicles and autonomous vehicles are really expensive, they're gonna need human drivers. So the role of a human driver might be diminished in the future, but I wouldn't count us out just yet. All right, so Harry also agrees that, that drivers are gonna be around for quite a while still. Also a huge thing is gonna be regulatory issues. There's gonna be a lot of red tape when it comes to regulatory approval. Regulators are not gonna approve this technology until the companies can, can prove that these cars are exponentially better than human drivers. And also there will be a mental hurdle for most passengers. It, they're gonna wanna make sure that they're 100% safe when getting into a vehicle with no human driver involved at all. The car is gonna be driving itself. It's gonna be very weird and it's gonna be a huge mental hurdle for people to get over. All right, so now as far as specific timelines for when uh, rideshare drivers will be replaced by autonomous vehicles, we really don't know. Again, there's all those those factors. There's the regulatory, there's the tech issue. We wanna make sure the tech is perfected. There's also those mental hurdles that passengers need to get over in order to ride in these completely autonomous vehicles. I, I still feel this is a minimum of five years off, maybe 10 years, but there are a lot of companies involved in these autonomous vehicles and it is coming. They, they are coming, they're going to happen. When they, it, when they are fully realized, it's going to be revolutionary. It's going to be extremely efficient, very safe. But again, like Harry said, rideshare drivers are still gonna be in demand for many years to come. Um, but what do you guys think about the transition? Uh, would you be comfortable getting into a robo taxi next year? Uh, leave a comment below and let us know. Uh, thanks again for watching and drive safe. Thanks.